They took two years to build, just an afternoon to destroy. 11 homes built on land owned by Palestinian Israelis but without the right permits have been demolished by the government. I saved every penny. I didn't buy clothes. I didn't go out. I saved to build this house. The demolitions happened almost a month after Israel's Prime Minister called for the destruction of more properties built without permits in Arab towns. Benjamin Netanyahu was responding to December's court-ordered demolition of an illegal Jewish settlement in the occupied West Bank. But Palestinian Israelis say their requests for building permits are often turned down to try and stop the natural expansion of their towns. Where should we go? What should I do with my son? They won't let us live in a nearby Jewish community. If they did, I'd send my son there. Many Palestinian Israeli businesses closed for the day on Wednesday to protest at what has been one of the biggest demolition operations in recent years. There's a fear amongst many Palestinian Israelis that what has happened here signals a change in government policy, where once homes built on private Palestinian land but without the right permits might have been ignored, now the government's going to destroy them. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Kalansawa, Israel.